When Julie Andrews bounced and sang her way through the film that was to become one of the biggest box office hits in movie history, The Sound of Music, not many people knew that the singing nun she portrayed, who became a governess and then married her titled employer, was a real person. The real Baroness von Trapp is now 76 and settled in America with a host of grandchildren. But today she was in London, meeting the cast of yet another version of The Sound of Music starring Petula Clark and due to open on the West End stage in August. The Baroness has been telling Fran Morrison her true story. And you are Kurt? Yes. Yes. You are? Frederick. Frederick. Do you know that my little children have different names? I don't know why they changed. The real Maria von Trapp seemed delighted with the seven English child actors she met today. She thought them more like her own original family than any others she'd yet encountered. And you would be Rupert. And they, for some unknown reasons, changed that. So I have to get used to your new names. The whole thing began 30 years ago with Baroness Maria's autobiography, the story of the Von Trapp family singers. Yes. What, which one? Uh, the hits. The, the hits are alive. Okay. Yeah. Rogers and Hammerstein got hold of it and the singing hasn't stopped since. Half a century ago, Maria really was all set to become a nun. See, I was a, in the novitiate in the Benedictine Abbey, and I was called to see Reverend Mother Abbas. And right there and then she told me that a certain Captain von Trapp had been seeing her this morning and asked whether they could lend her, lend her, a teacher for one of her children who had had scarlet fever and had to be tutored at home. It must have been a very difficult readjustment for you coming out of a convent as a very young girl into this rather eccentric household. How did you manage to adjust? Well, I don't know. See, I did. The main thing was that the, the children, seven children, from four to fourteen, and they didn't sing. And I was singing all the time, and I couldn't understand this. So I had a guitar, and it's the first thing, you see, we did, you see, we started singing. We just plain loved one another. I liked those little ones very much. And one uh, queer thing, it was the first time in my life that I was being kissed. See, I was an orphan. I was brought up by an elderly lady, a cousin of my father's. And there was no kissing being done in that house. And I grew up without. And these little kids, they were all over me. And it was such a warm and, and, and new experience. And you stayed for life, married the Baron, and became the Baroness Maria von Trapp, as yeah, we all know. Yeah, it was very know. funny. I was standing on a ladder. What do you call this kind of a ladder? A step ladder. Step ladder. Uh, there was a crystal chandelier in the big living room. And the handbook of the German housewife said, in the spring, you have to clean your chandeliers with lukewarm water in the sponge. So I was standing there with a bowl of lukewarm water and a sponge, doing the cleaning, when suddenly the three little ones, four, six, and eight years of age, came running in and calling out to me, do you like our father? Now what do you say to little kids? Of course, I said, of course I do. And they ran right back because they had gone to their father and said, Papa, we just realized the only thing how we can keep her here forever is that you marry her. But how realistic is the portrait of Maria that most people have seen on film and the portrait of your husband? My husband is mostly all right. But me, they always play so ladylike, and I was not. I was wild in that time, you see. I had no manners. I, had, uh, I was more a boy than a girl, and I can't get those precious ladies to do that, you see. Are you going to try and influence Petula Clark while I you're over in London? So. The film at the time it came out was criticized by some of the critics for being rather sugary and schmaltzy. Was that your own feeling That's about stupid, it? no. You know, they, they just cannot take 
facts for facts. That's the way it was.